Navigating Munich's extensive public transit system can be daunting for visitors. In this episode, we'll take a deep dive into Munich's public transportation network. I'll provide an overview of the various modes of transportation and guide you through the ticket buying process. Plus, I'll share some unique features of Munich's trains that you won't want to miss. Welcome to Roaming Goods. Munich boasts an outstanding public transportation system, including the U-Bahn, S-Bahn, trams, and buses. Both the U-Bahn and S-Bahn are rapid transit systems, but they serve different purposes. The S-Bahn primarily connects the city's suburbs to the urban center while the Wuban mostly operates within the city itself. Also, the S-Bahn runs above ground outside the city center, while the Wuban operates primarily underground. The S-Bahn is operated by Deutsche Bahn, Germany's national railway company, while the Wuban is under the purview of MVG, a municipally owned transportation company. MVG also oversees local buses and trams. These operators, along with others, collaborate as part of MVV, the Munich Transport and Tariff Association. MVV acts as the transit authority that coordinates transportation services and fares in Munich and its surrounding districts. As you explore Munich, you will notice logos from these transportation companies on directional signs and ticket machines. One unique aspect of Germany's ticket system is that it relies on trust. Unlike many cities in the world, Munich's public transit system doesn't use turnstiles. However, be forewarned that if you attempt to travel without a valid ticket and get caught, you will be facing a hefty fine of 60 euros. Purchasing a transit ticket in an unfamiliar city can be intimidating, especially in Munich, where various transit operators have their own ticket machines. But don't fret, I will walk you through how to buy a ticket with three examples. First, imagine you've just arrived at the Munich airport and your plan is to take the S-Bahn train from the airport to the city center. After leaving the airport's security area, follow the signs to the S-Bahn station. The S-Bahn's ticket machine should look like this. After selecting your preferred language, the form field will be pre-filled with Munich Airport. In the two field, and the S-Bahn station where you intend to disembark. After choosing your ticket type, the screen will display the ticket price, and then you can proceed to pay with either cash or credit card. Next, let's explore how to purchase a ticket at a Wuban station. You will notice that the ticket machine is different this time because it's operated by MVG, the Wuban operator. Select your language. Then your ticket type. And choose your travel zone. For most sightseeing activities within the city, selecting the M zone should suffice. However, if you are uncertain, consult the MVV network map. Now, it's time to pay. If you are using a credit card, insert it into the payment machine. Now that you have your ticket, there's one more crucial step before boarding the train. Validation. 
since Munich's public transit system doesn't employ turnstiles, many visitors forget to validate their tickets. Remember, if you are caught without a valid ticket, you will be slapped with a 60 euro fine. In fact, both the ticket machine and the ticket itself emphasize the importance of validation. So, how do you validate your ticket? It's simple. Just stamp your ticket using one of these machines. Now, you might be wondering why you didn't have to validate your ticket in the previous example. To answer that, let's revisit that clip. As you can see, the Deutsche Bank ticket machine automatically selected the issue with validation option by default, so the ticket was already validated when issued. However, for travelers, it can sometimes be confusing to determine when ticket validation is necessary. One method is to check if your ticket displays a validation date. If your ticket lacks a date, you must validate it. For instance, here's a Deutsche Bank ticket that already includes a validation date. Conversely, here's an MVG ticket that only features a validation date after it's been stamped. Once stamped, a Zone M single ticket remains valid for two hours. If you plan on using public transit several times a day, it may be more economical to purchase a day ticket. Let's explore that option in our next example. Suppose you plan to spend a few hours exploring the city's attractions and then catch a train to the airport, which is situated in Zone 5. Based on your itinerary, your day ticket should cover zones M to 5. And remember, always validate your ticket before your first journey. Once validated, a day ticket remains valid until 6 a.m. the following day. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to touch on another ticket type, the group ticket. This option is worth considering if you are traveling with companions. Now, let's hop on the train. Munich's U and S Bahn trains are safe and well maintained. While some older U Bahn trains might appear museum worthy, they get the job done. Keep in mind that the doors on these trains don't open automatically. You will need to manually pull the lever. Sometimes these levers can be quite stubborn, providing a bit of unexpected exercise. Trains run frequently, and the transit network covers the city and its surroundings extensively ensuring that you can reach nearly any destination with minimal walking. However, one aspect to frown upon is the relatively high cost of fares. Munich's ticket prices are steeper than many cities worldwide. For instance, in my hometown of Montreal, a single trip ticket costs 3.75 Canadian dollars which is already considered pricey. In Munich, a similar ticket will set you back 3.7 euros. That wraps up our introduction to Munich's public transportation system. Despite the cost, Munich's public transit is top notch boasting extensive coverage and various travel options. Exploring Munich via public transit is an adventure in itself. Have you experienced Munich's trains? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching.